Yaki da, good health. <coughs> Nearly choked on that, mate. <coughs> Very professional here, it's all rehearsed. Uh, I was just saying to my good lady wife there, um, I spend all that time painting something and doing something really swish, <coughs> and people are more interested in what the tools I'm using to make a walking sticker. So there you go, if it's floating your boat, I'll go through it. So first of all, this is a piece of hazel. Wander along the hedgerows and everything, and eventually you'll find some nice straight growing hazel and uh, cut it off. If it's not completely straight, you can straighten it. This was a little bit on, on the crook side, to tell you truth, but I just put it over my knee and bend it a little bit, and there you go. And uh, in this case, I'm going to make one, well, roughly, I want to make one that actually ends up looking a little bit like a horse's hoof on the end there. So I'm just going to uh, cut a ring around it to give me uh, something to work to. And this is uh, just a, uh, what's this one? This is a, a Barco one. Barco make good tools actually. But uh, any sort of bushcraft knife. Um, Axminster tools do a really nice one quite cheaply as well actually. So there you go, I've cut that ring in there. Move that out the way. If you haven't got a workbench, you know, you can jam it under something or whatever. Pop that in there. As with this one, as I said, I don't want to, um, this is a draw knife, okay? Don't ask me what the make is on this. I can't see it anymore, it's that old. But it's a great little draw knife, and that's probably come from Axminster Tools as well, actually, thinking about it. So I just want to find that little cut I've made and start peeling some off. You need to leave these uh, sticks probably 12 months is good to dry out before you start trying to make a stick out of them because you want it to sand it down after and if there's a lot of sap in it you won't get to sand it down so in this one as i say i'm not going to be completely clean with it right i'm not going to take it all back down to bare wood and you'll see why in a second i want alfie you're not helping mate no you're not you're not helping at all chickens here now as well great it's like animal magic here johnny morris anybody remember johnny morris animal magic he was brilliant wasn't he there's a lot of youngsters out there going charlton's gone mental i haven't got a clue what he's talking about and there's a load of people who will go yes i definitely remember animal magic he was the best i used to watch animal magic before I uh, would go to Cubs of an evening and then I'd be off to Cubs. Never made it to Scouts. Flick it round a bit. So this side, I'm go as I get further round here, I'm going to take it clean, you know. Something very satisfying, isn't it, about peeling a bit of bark off? <laughs> Weirdly enough. Ralphie, you're not helping. There you go, you're getting the gist, aren't you? What I'm going to do with this bit here now. just want to take it off a little bit on it take the edge of the hoof wall off for all the farriers out there I know oh, Chris you would have made a great farrier but it's not like any hoof I've ever done you see it's starting to appear now Is 
sharp knife is definitely a safe knife if you've got a blunt knife you tend to work too hard with it and uh, it ends up flying all over the place don't get me wrong eventually you will cut yourself that's all there is to it Ralphie, don't you bring your nose here nope nope There you go, you're getting the gist of it. It'll have a good sanding. The good thing about it is you can put it sideways like that, wrap your thumb around it and you've got something to, to lean on as well. It'll have a good sanding, sand the edge down there. I'll probably put a thumb well in there as well. And uh, a coat of varnish and somebody can buy it with in Appleby. See you all there. Have a great day, everybody.